going on guys? So behind me, you will see this little canal that I fished a couple weeks ago. Uh, it was raining pretty hard that day. So I came back today, super nice and sunny. The water looks like it's flowing pretty quickly. Last time all I got were some mine cichlids and one bluegill. So it's my second time here. I want to explore it a little bit more. So my ultralight queen tetan, uh, six footer, die willow gallus, four pound mono, uh, four pound fluoro, sorry. And then we're going to be going with a little trout magnet. So 164th ounce jig head with a split tail, nice chartreuse color. Uh, water looks pretty clear, so I don't know if I need the uh, chartreuse color. Maybe I'll tie on something a little bit more natural. But either way, I think it should get the job done. Now let's explore this little canal a little bit more and hope for some other fish besides a whole bunch of Mayan cichlids. Yeah, water is moving through here really quickly so let's see if we can oh that was quick literally first cast uh, he swam into some cover there we go as soon as it fell in not only first cast but literally the second it hit the water first mine cichlid of the day all right yeah so that did not take long at all first fish of the day on the first cast first second it hit the water but just like last time another small mine cichlid so let's hope there's some other fish but based on this and based on last time i am not sure about that all right here we go cast number two. Oh, fish on what is this another mine cichlid a little bit smaller than that first one we go second fish of the day little mine cichlid smaller than that first one uh, now this is perfect bait size like I, if I was this if this was a bigger canal I would put this guy out on a hook some peacock largemouth snook whatever would love to gobble, gobble this guy up all right here we go can we make it three for three I don't think so. Nothing yet. All right, so can't go three for three, but there's gotta be some more fish under this structure here. Oh, there we go. Fish on. Another Mayan. Kind of an in-betweener, bigger than the last one, smaller than the first one, I think. So three fish on four casts. We go fish number three for the day on our fourth cast. So just like last time, this little canal is infested with these tiny Mayan cichlids. All right, here we go, cast number five. Oh, that was another bite. Set the hook a little bit too early. And that was another bite. So there's tons of these little guys here. Fish on. Another little guy. Looks like another Mayan, yep. Mayan cichlid number four for the day. Wouldn't expect anything else out of this canal. Another Mayan. So, yeah, this, this canal's infested with these guys. Another little bite. And fish on. 
another Mayan. All right, lost track already, but this is what, four or five little Mayans? So we'll get it back and I'm hoping there's some more fish. I think I see some spotted tilapia, but I'm not really sure. So we'll try to get one of those. Fish on. Of course, another little Mayan. Another Mayan. So I think there's some spotted tilapia down there, but as soon as my lure hits the water, there's like five or six of these guys schooling up to attack it. So I don't know. I don't know if we'll get anything else. These are these guys are just really, really aggressive. All right, so what I really like about this canal, what I liked last time, is that it just looks really natural. All right, sure, there's some tires and some trash in there, but, if, oh, that was another bite. But if you just look at the opposite bank, just super, super natural. Lots of trees, grasses, palms, everything you could ask for. And most of the canals, or really almost all the canals that I fished down here in South Florida, they just look really man-made and artificial. So that's something that really attracts me to this one. I just wish the uh, diversity of fish was a little bit different. Oh, fish on. Another mine. Come on up here. You already know, another mine cichlid. There's a lot of still really, really small fish in here. I'm getting tons of bites, only hooking up with the bigger ones, if you could call those bigger ones. And I can't tell what these fish are. I think they're just baby mine cichlids, but they might be some other type of cichlid species. Fish on. Ooh, this one's pulling a little bit more drag. I don't think he's too much bigger though. Uh, maybe a little bit. Pulling a little bit of drag. Let's get this guy up here. Oh yeah, maybe the biggest fish of the day. Not big, but biggest fish of the day for sure. All right, so biggest fish of the day, and big is a relative term, right? So people always ask me, what's the biggest fish you've ever caught? And that's relative, because this is a big fish for this canal, right? Uh, some, someone's gonna say a 40 inch snook is big. Well, yeah, it's big, but when you compare that to a juvenile swordfish, it's nothing. So for this canal, I'm, I'm pretty happy with the size of this mine. I'm sure there's some bigger ones, but this is a big fish for this canal. Fish on. Ooh, another nice size. Pulling a little bit of drag. It is a Mayan. Oh, he's got me wrapped up under something. There we go. Okay. Decent size Mayan for this canal. So big is relative. This is a decent to big size Mayan when you consider the canal it came from. Fish on. Got some. Of it. That one got a little bit of air. Let's bring this guy up here. Of course, another mine. All right. No surprise at this point. Another little mine cichlid. Oh, 
fish on. Another Mayan. Because of course it is. All right, so this is gonna be the last mine I'm going to show you guys. So next up, either you'll see me catch something else or it's gonna be me with a quick wrap up because just mine after mine, I'm sure, isn't keeping you guys too interested. All right, we got a gar over here. Let's see if I can get the gar to bite. Even if he bites, he's going to be hard to get the hook up with, but always worth a shot. He bit it, he bit it. Is he hooked? I think he's hooked. Gar on a trout magnet. Oh, he spit it. Those guys are always tough to hook and land when you're fishing with lures. So at least I got a chance to hook up with something besides a Mayan, but wasn't meant to be. All right, so that is going to do it. So from the time that I pushed uh, record on this camera to the time that I broke off, I snagged and snapped my trout magnet. It was 48 minutes. So I caught all those fish in 48 minutes, and that includes all the time I spent talking to you guys, taking pictures of the fish, getting scenery shots, getting everything set up. So that is a lot of fish that I caught in not too long of a time. Unfortunately, they were all mine cichlids and not too much size on them, but like, like I kind of said, small canal, there, there's no big fish in this tiny canal. The water is less than two feet deep at the deepest point. Most of it probably looks like to be about six or eight inches. So this isn't just, this just isn't a place where big fish could survive. So a couple of those mine cichlids, they were big given the body of water that they came from. So I'm happy with those. Uh, I always like to give places a second chance. This was my second time here. First time was more of the same, just a bunch of mine cichlids. So I don't know if I'll come back here. It's good. It's a good place to get some action, not a good place to get a variety or uh, to catch larger fish. That one gar I lost, that was going to be a nice fish. Unfortunately, it came off like they usually do. Gar just super hard to hook. Uh, they got really bony mouths and there's just not a lot of flush there for the hook to sink into. But overall, I'm happy. One hour well spent. Hope you guys liked it and then I will see you next time.